Hey everybody, it's Charlie here with the Charlie Wills team. Um, all right, August, uh, numbers came out. Uh, we've looked at them. Um, what I'm seeing is that the market's pretty, but it's pretty much holding status quo, right? Um, hate to bring that up and, and use that as my explanation, but you know, pricing really isn't moving a whole lot. Uh, there's properties now starting to be a little stagnant. Um, people overshot the market, uh, in some instances, I'm not saying all the time, but I'd say probably 10, maybe 20% of the listings that are out there are overpriced. They're sitting on the market. Uh, and here's usually why it's not because of price. I know I brought that up first, but here's usually why it's not marketed well. So marketing means a couple things. It's not photographed. Well, it's not, um, had proper staging. Um, and items in the house haven't been repaired in, in order to make it sparkle. So if you're gonna sell your home right now, uh, even with low inventory, you still have to do the right stuff. You still have to make it look good in order to uh, get the best value out of the house. So um, those are usually it, and then price follows, right? Price will uh, determine how that all comes together if you got all the other pieces together. So. My thoughts on condos, um, condo numbers are, are very much holding, uh, very similar to what I thought. Prices are really skyrocketing on condos in general. Um, I think for two reasons. One, uh, there's been a lot of zoning and regulations made that we don't build as many as we used to. So when you don't re, you know, replace or even add to the inventory, every condo that comes for sale kind of is, is a hot button. Um, it's a great way for a lot of buyers to get in the market and you can get in for 200, $250,000. So, um, anyways, I think condos are going to still have issues as we go into next year because of the supply issue, because they're not being replaced. So, uh, hint, hint, uh, out there to all developers and all, uh, city officials that are making these plans, uh, for city planning. Cause I know that's coming up all over the County, uh, next year, change your zoning, change your development plans and give the opportunity in your comprehensive planning to make uh, available land, cheaper land than you're currently making it. So condos are at a price point that are affordable uh, for those that are moving into the area. I've got some points about what we think the market's doing. Like we, we keep hearing a lot about, hey, you know, we'll just wait till the spring, you know, the, the rates will probably change. They're probably going to, there, there's no doubt. Um, I think as we get into election cycle, uh, markets tend to get better and increase and, and have a little bit more activity. So I think if the markets drop between a half a point and a full point, yes, it'll be cheaper interest. But I think what's happening here in Madison, I just think I know in Madison, prices are going to start to elevate because we're going to get into a spring market, more buyers, less inventory, basic economics going to take over and we're going to see prices go up eight to 10%. So when you have eight, eight to 10% appreciation in prices, but then you have the rate only dropping 1%, your payment's gonna literally be the same. So if you can, now's the opportunity, get in, get your money in. Uh, there's a lot of negotiation that we're using. Last two deals we've negotiated, we got anywhere between $100,000 off the price uh, on one of them, and that was a $700,000 or $700, listing. And the other one was a $300,000 listing, and we got over $14,000 in credits uh, back to buy down the rate buy warranties, make some changes to the property. Just a lot of these kind of things can be done now because properties are sitting on the market and sellers still need to sell. So we have a lot of ideas for you. Feel free to hit us up with any questions, any content you'd like to see. Um, but uh, hope you enjoy the video. See ya.